Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the this is just a beautiful to die for gorgeous song. Vincent as it's properly titled, but many folks know it by Starry Starry Night. And the lyrics are just hauntingly beautiful. He describes a blank canvas as a snowy linen land. How cool is that? I'd love to know what your favorite lines from the lyrics are. Please let me know in the comments down below. And hey, I'm Lisa, I'm the Ukulele Fool. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I hope to help you on your ukulele journey. In this tutorial, I am going to be covering the chords. I found myself doing a little cheater between two of the chords. We'll talk about that cheater transition. I will go over the strumming. It's pretty straightforward. I have ornaments that I've thrown in and I will show you how to do those ornaments or not, how to eliminate them. I have singing tips, a few little quick singing tips that might help you, a history nerd section, and then a play along. So come and join me. Let's grab your ukulele, your favorite beverage, and let's dive in. To play Vincent or Starry Starry Night, you need these eight beginner-friendly chords, and I'm not going to go over those chords. There are also two very simple chords that might not be as familiar to you, but a minor seven, look ma, no fingers. And then C major seven, you come to a C major seven from a C, so simply use your middle finger. So just trade those fingers. There are two more advanced or intermediate level chords that you're going to need. You're going to need an F minor. I play that with these two fingers on the G and the E string and then my pinky, because I don't have a big stretch, you might be able to stretch with your ring finger, but I'm not comfortable doing that, so I do it with my pinky, and I use that on my third fret of the A string to get that C pitch to come out. There's also a B flat, and I have all kinds of tips and tricks. I've got a, a little shorty video on that for B flat, and if you don't want to do a B flat, you can also do a B flat seven chord. So you don't need to put down your, um, pinch that A string. You can just curve over it like an E minor shape. You know, think of your E minor and then just move it up to the first fret and then closer to your face. So it starts like that. So you can use that as a substitute chord. I have two unusual chords that I use in the ornament section, more on that later, but there's a C sus four. So basically you're going to be uh, taking out an E in the C chord and substituting an F. So you've got your C chord like this and you're going to add an F pitch, like isn't that cool? And then a D minor is another one finger add. You've got your D minor. And then I add my pinky. You don't have any choice there because all your other fingers are being used. I've got a whole class coming up on that in two weeks. Well, no, it'll probably be a week by the time that this comes out um, on what difference a finger can make. Now it's available to my patrons. It's a group lesson. It's uh, live. There's question and answer. It's on Zoom. And if you miss it, it's recorded. And we're going to be going over four different songs and showing how you can just add like one finger and really get some really interesting sounds. While I was performing this song, I discovered that I was doing a little bit of a cheat between the C to D minor. And what I was doing is that on the on island strum uh, with the C, I was going down, down, up, up, down, up. I was lifting up that, that finger and getting things ready for the next down on the D minor seven. So that last up, I'm actually playing an A minor seven, look ma, no fingers chord, and it sounds perfectly good and it's a way to make that transition a little bit smoother. In order to make this friendly for strummers and then also to make it beautiful, I'm taking the island strum and I'm just modifying it slightly for most of the song. Now, I have a low G on my instrument, so it works just fine if you have what they call reentrant tuning ukulele with 
with a higher G. But I'm going, I'm going to do this on a C chord, and I'm going to use my thumb for that first down. And I'm doing a, a kind of teasing it out, making an arpeggio technique. So instead of doing and getting all the strings to ring out at the same time, I am deliberately hitting each one. This is a great skill to have. Technically, this is called an arpeggio playing each note of the chord separately. So practice doing that with me. Let's just do a few of them. One, two, on C. Here we go. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The island strum can only be used when you're dealing with groups of four. And in this song, there's a C to C major that each one only has two beats. A couple simple ways to do that. What I do in the play along is I'm using a down, 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 like that. But don't want to do the up, you could just do down strums, you know, C, down, C major seven, down. If you want to keep it simple like that, no problem. I added some little ornaments to make this song sound even more beautiful, in my opinion. But uh, let me play them for you, and I'll get up close so that you can see how it's working. So it's a C to a C sus4. <laughs> down and narrative as well. It is a split island strum. So the first two downs of the island strum is on the C and then the first up strum I'm putting down my index finger up down up just as a little style point. I'm making sure on that as those downs that I'm making my G string ring because it's lower and then on uh, coming up I'm not even really touching the, that G string. I'm letting my higher strings take the sound so you get more of a contrast with low, up. So just, you know, play around with it. Those are just my suggestions for a little bit of style points. If you're not familiar with a split island strum, I have a great song for you, Hot, Hot, Hot. Totally different song than this one. I'll link it up here and down below as well. We do the same thing with a D minor and a D minor 7. I'll have you take a look at that. I'm adding my pinky when I'm going on my first up strip of the split island strum. Down, down, D7 minor. want to do that. Just eliminate the C sus 4 and the D minor 7. Just play a regular old island strum on the C, C, and then doing the D minor. Just take out the D minor 7 and do the same thing, just an island strum. singing tips for you. This is a very wordy song and you know even reading the chord chart like I do, I'm thoroughly paper trained, I rarely do anything by memory. I just, you know, I find myself tripping up over a word here or there and my suggestion to you is just keep rolling. You know, people really, I don't think people are going to care. If you think people are really going to care if I say they and not you or vice versa. There's several times in the song where you need to sing it they, you tried to set them free. They did not listen. They did not know how. Well, that I found myself, if I didn't make a conscious note of it, I'd be running out of breath. And so that I found that if I was just like, almost like sipping through a straw, if I could get a quick little breath in right after free, I'll play that. You tried to set them free. They did not listen. They did not know how. Perhaps I listened. But you weren't even aware that I took a little breath. Maybe you were, I, but it's it's just a little 
I sing free and then sip it and then I've got enough breath to match go all the way to how <laughs> well I could talk a long time about this song so I'm gonna try to keep it brief maybe I'll speed it up in editing Don McLean wrote this song when he was working in schools playing guitar and singing for kids it's great Somebody can hire me to do that. <laughs> okay. So anyway, he was learning about Vincent van Gogh, as we say here in the United States, or Vincent van Gogh, as you say in the UK, or Vincent van Gogh. I think that's how they say it in Dutch. Don't quote me on that. So anyway, he heard, you know, was he was learning about Vincent's malady and the fact that his brother was also afflicted with it too. And he just said, you know, this isn't your garden variety crazy. So, um, you know, he really empathized with him and, and, wanted to write a song so he quickly penned it on a brown paper bag apparently so i did some sleuthing into the malady that he had and um the western journal of medicine had an article on van gogh and said you know we it's all speculative but it kind of sounds like he had a manic depressive uh illness but again speculative and it is also speculated that he was being treated with digitalis, colloquially known as foxglove. And uh, foxglove, I know, is poisonous to animals, and sure enough, it also has some poisonous side effects for humans as well. And one of the things is that it causes your vision to kind of cast yellow and green on things. Oh my gosh, do we have lots of Vincent van Gogh paintings with that kind of yellow green cast? Yes, we do. And even say, seeing yellow spots and yellow coronas or circles around uh, lights we see in Starry Starry Night. I would like to recommend a film for you. Unfortunately, it's not going to be cheap. Um, Loving Vincent. It was released in 2017 and in 2018 it was up for an Academy Award. It has a revisionist history take on Vincent van Gogh's death. And it's a beautiful movie. I saw it actually in an art museum and they had employed 125 painters to paint in the style of Vincent van Gogh. They also used green screen and actors and combined that with the paintings to create a history of Vincent van Gogh's last days. And it has really stuck with me. I hope you get a chance to see it. Um, I, I'm really glad I had that experience. I have a chord chart down below if you want to get that. It's available for my patrons, and I want to thank all my patrons for your valuable financial support. You keep this YouTube channel going. You give me the equipment that I need to be able to do play-alongs. Like, let me know on this play-along. Do you think it's beautiful? Is, does it help in your ukulele experience, or is it just too overboard? Please let me know, but thank you, patrons. Please join us on Patreon. Grab a chord chart or any of my chord charts. Okay, let's do it. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and gray. Look out on a summer's day with eyes that know the darkness in my soul. Shadows on the hills. the daffodils, catch the breeze in the winter chills, and colors on the snowy linen land. Now I understand what you tried to say to me, how you suffered for your sanity, and how they tried to set you free. They would not listen, they did not know how. Perhaps they'll listen now. Starry, starry night. Flaming flowers that brightly blaze. Swirling clouds in violet haze. Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue. Colors changing hue. of amber gray, weathered faces lined in pain, are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. Now I understand.
understand what you try to say to me, how you suffer for your sanity. Now you try to set them free, they would not listen, they did not know how. Perhaps I'll listen now, for they could not love you. Love was true, and when no hope was left inside on that stormy, stormy night, you took your life as lovers often do. But I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful as you. Starry, starry night. In empty halls, frameless heads on nameless walls, with eyes that watch the world and can't forget, like strangers that you've met. The ragged man in ragged clothes, the silver thorn of bloody rose, lies crushed and broken on the virgin snow. I know what you try to say to me, now you suffer for your sanity, now you try to set them free, they would not listen, they're not listening still, perhaps they never will. I hope that this tutorial and play along has brought you joy and confidence in your ukulele journey. I would like to thank all my patrons for their great feedback, song suggestions, community building, and your very important financial support for my teaching efforts. If you appreciate what I do and have a few dollars a month to spare, I encourage you to join our growing Patreon community. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go and keep spreading the ukulele love.